Okay, I finally have a lot of cash lying around now. That's good. Probably don't need a lot of it, but might come in handy later. So apparently, where to? Hi. Just drive. Okay. So I need to head. Currently in Santa Monica, and I need to head downtown. So an entire area I've never been before. Wow. That's a nice welcoming committee. <laughs> Blow to the head. Hi. Whoa. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, Nick. I got partially away. <laughs> I want its teeth. I do have a name. Camarilla, fuck. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get what? I'm sitting in the first row. Son of a bitch! Hatchards, not as effective. Leave. Vampires. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Oh, well, that's yeah. Rodriguez. <laughs> Three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? Huh, huh. This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with a sabat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Yeah. Like old pals. Good effort. Ho ho! Execution needs a little work. Me you dead? Like shit. Name's Nines. Thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, Nogi. This ain't the burbs. Yeah, I notice. I could have taken them. Nah, no, let's not. <laughs> I couldn't have. Yeah, I let's not lie. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. Ooh. I'll this is a that. mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Thanks. Wow. This place is a lot taller. Ah, cute. The key still works. Might be useful later. Oh, and actually, you don't need a key for that part. Yeah, but you're a great girl. Wait, are you alone around here? No, no, she's not. That would have been too good to be true. We could just find a bus stop. This is a bus stop. Give me an idea of the lay of the land around here. Let's see, where's the tower? Venture Tower, that's six. I'm standing right in front of it. Let's go say hi to the king. Hail to the prince, baby. Blood bond. You Hello. Look familiar, Chief. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? Whew, I don't know what came over me back there, but now I got this sweet night shift position, and I'm happier than the time I met Superwitz. Ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You uh, here to see one of the big leagues, Chief? 
Would yeah, that be us. Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? What do you think, genius? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Thanks. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you're wondering. I'll remember that. I have no idea where I know I'm from. That sounded like an elevator. Oh, there we go. All the way to the penthouse. Wow. Love what he's done with the place. Rameless and Rameless. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I'm no expert. I know a few things about history, but I don't know enough to spot them just by pictures. Anyway. That guy's just freaking there you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Yes. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Santa Monica can be a little two-faced, but that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> I just what I would just want to do too. A taste that's of what's to come. come. <laughs> you have no idea. You've done well. Circumstances being what they Foreboding were. Foreboding much? I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Okay, well, what exactly there do you want me to whispers, do? Rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Yes. Go on. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision not based bad. on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. What do you need you me to do? have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Danes' arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Good. Yes. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Guess we didn't miss the last round. Then, you should go humor the by the numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Or oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that 
dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. I go see him I'm fine. Give the Anarch community my regards. Okay. So big guy. How you doing man? He's humongous. Insanely tall. Oh, the front door again. Oh, bashing reduces damage from bullets and melee weapons. It's useful to know. Oh, man. Love me some good gargoyle statues. Sounds like a muffled cry. What? <laughs> okay. Let's go take a look at the last round. Maybe see see if we can find any shops. We've got some cash to burn. The peckening. Is it gonna have chicken? Last round. All the way at the back. Empire Arms, all the way at the other side. I'm gonna go there first. Hey, look! It's a car garage, but there's a beach nearby. Bad. Yeah, pretty streets. There's... Hey, don't I know you? Hey, baby. Looking for a date? Uh, no. Thanks. You look cute and all, but... I don't know. You seem a bit cold. Oh, Empire Arms is a hotel. Here, I was thinking it was actually a gun shop. Well. So much for that. What else could I find? Guns. I have no idea. That's quite fancy for just walking around downtown. Still hoping to get some better armor someday. But you're now just using a shirt. Not that great in a firefight. Great in social gatherings, sure, but. Well, there are bullets flying at your head. You want something that stops more than just uh, a dash of sunlight. Which actually, in this case, ma matters quite a bit. Who are those guys? Death to the false emperor! I'm gonna be by three people who actually get that joke. Fine. They're laughing. Trust me. They are laughing. What's with all these hazmat guys? Let's see. Ah, yes. It should be over here. The last round. No, it's scruffy. Oh, look what the street chased him. We're in. This guy's not true. That's not my Okay, now why are you here then? I'm out of here. He does have a point. <laughs> We're in the talk of the town. Host the child of Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you run into today? Funny. It's nice around. Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't worry about your weapon. I'm scared. I'll be the one to show you what you Yeah, alright. You got a few minutes to talk? What's up? 
None of these vampires have to make any shit to me. Yep. You're carrying a six thousand year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel, that blood is a tangle curse. of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Your what are you talking about? The blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood Sounds like fun for a superstition to me. How can you break free? Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream and you don't feel that shit. Who's Kane? Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Wow. You mean came from the Bible? Keep it really? Okay, where are you going with this? With this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? You agree with the masquerade? I don't to feel good about myself. Masquerade is a fruity Camarilla label. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with it. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. You know, speaking Amen. of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Pretty busy right now. This girl is making a lot of noise lately. Your pain is. She's a ghoul with this one Toriador creep who disappeared. I'm sorry, dear. A ghoul is a kindred human servant. They're not embraced, but they do drink the blood of their masters. But by forcing them to obey, they also visit some of our powers. They become addicted to the god of death. Gently reading their words. Wow. Her name is Penny. She hangs out at the clubs down town. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until that vampire sugar daddy stopped calling her. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shade so far no more. So that he doesn't want to see her anymore. She was been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again louder. Damn junkie. She's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. She's like, you guys have a problem. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret here. I'll do it to uphold the masquerade. Uh, I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's silent. Just let me know when it's done. Okay, can I? Can I now get past? What's up? Right here, probably rubbing. Mine's probably upstairs. Hold it. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. You don't rap, lecture, you don't rap, you're no bureaucrat. That sounds like a rap, mu it's a rap song. You go ahead. In Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what class in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. I'm looking for more power than those who have sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. At first, my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to exist. Only a few people at the top have any real power. So, pretty much like real life. Sorry. That was a bit bleak. Okay, two. Shit. is just a guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local camera. Him and any of the traitors decide to look at Camelot power here, they'll get what's due. Are you then part of the camera? Words, maybe. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the camera claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be, which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit man ever heard. Okay, 
point. I still don't understand. So what are you all about? Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote unquote elite. Keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. Wow. I never expected this game's commentary to actually be relevant again 10 years later. Reminds me a bit of the, uh... Oh, what was it called? This is a problem. We always... Always forget shit if it's, uh, two years out of the news. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Corey and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. In the goddamn way. Their lives don't apply to us. They start meeting with the guy. I got them meeting right here. Okay. Sounds like you're the prince of the. No, let's not. Let's not do that. That'd be better. The Camarilla, stuck up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place the boy belongs is in the. Then be fighting words, boy. Without them, who would sponsor artists? You? Rustling show for shows for everyone. What? What is it even for an answer? I'm gonna go for one, but that's gonna get me into trouble. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bit it or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. One more question. <laughs> I love these second answers. I like some aristocratic British guy. Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. If you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the camera is full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Can you teach me how you're to fight? You're picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this. And keep your body at an angle. It makes it harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. That's pretty much what I've learned. LA is the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in the barbecue pit. As you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Got it. So I just up my stats. What do you ask? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would stop counting as many long necks with your back, Jack? I mean, Kenny, yeah. you have a whole lot less about your neck. If it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for the toy anyway. Got himself in the Did they do something to piss you off? No, actually, I'm gonna be harder. What the fuck's your problem? Oh. You wanna know what my problem is? Alright, I'll tell you what my problem is. You ready? You are my goddamn problem. Anyone who would lay it down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves what they get. I make my own fake. Uh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kid is part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. I'm the grandmother of these numbers, and one this bitch is a glory. Piss you don't say, drink some bad blood or something? Don't even joke about bad blood at a time like this. Don't you know we've got a plague bearer around here? Plague bearer? A plague bearer is a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. 
Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can't. And kids that feed on them start spreading disease. And after it's sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. The guys in the hazmat suits. Well, that makes sense. Seeing old yeller? May sound cool, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer has got to be found and put down. If the camera really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Oh, you guys help me out. What do you need? Nice call. Those nearby in the sky and apartments. But it's crazy. It's like death last time he was here. So he didn't get there, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Why is it always ghouls? You might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately, but it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Bye, damsel. Trying to be so incredibly pissed off next time. It doesn't suit you. Uh, Where's this screaming woman? Oh, actually, I think this is the first time a, a girl actually screamed against me. No, wait, no, that's not true. I had two girls screaming at me from the same mouth, which is really weird. <laughs> 